You're probably wondering why I'm sitting in the car and that is because I'm gonna go get a retightening done to my locks. Probably wondering why I was wearing a hat too. My head is looking, let me just show you. My head is not, you can't really, I mean, it's just, it is not the prettiest sight, you know what I'm saying? So, you're probably wondering why am I going back in to get a re-interlock or a re-tightening done just two and a half weeks after getting a retwist? I'm gonna explain all that to you. But for right now, can't do it, gotta go, gotta hit this appointment, don't wanna be late, so I'll talk to you guys about it in a couple seconds, all right? Stay locked. All right, mission accomplished. So um, let's head upstairs and uh, chit chat, shall we? So we're back. Um, truth be told, I was actually back maybe like an hour and a half ago. I had work to do on the computer, so I decided to throw a little do rag on it just to kind of let the hair settle in a little bit. It was nuts when I just got it done. Um, so I guess as I was going into earlier, I wanted to touch on really quickly, you know, why you'd get a retwist or a re interlock and what's a good timeline to doing so. Well, I guess before we do that, let's take this off. I kind of want to see what it looks like myself. All right, so this is what we are working with. So just got it done. Obviously again, this is a 360 with, uh, it just fresh out of the do-rag. Now let me just pop it up a little bit, give it a little bit of life. So it feels good. I mean, I guess I'll just let, let you know kind of my recent timeline with my hair. So two months ago, actually two months and a couple days ago, I went in and did a retightening. So I had an interlock session done. I'm about, did my interlocking session, about six weeks after that, I went in and got a retwist. My new growth wasn't long enough for me to really get a retightening, so I just went and did a retwist. Didn't really think it was gonna hold just because I do have 2C hair texture, so I have a looser or straighter, if you will, hair texture. So I just know that when I twist my hair up into like a twist or to do a comb coil, it just doesn't hold that long. Anyway, lo and behold, that hair came out after about a week and a half, which was my first time washing it after getting it twisted. So at that point, my new growth was crazy long. So I decided to go back today and get a, another interlock. And I'm deciding that going forward, I'm just gonna interlock my hair until about a year and a bit. Because I think at that point, after that year mark, my hair will really understand and really want to try to continue locking as opposed to the stage that it's in now where it is budding, it is locking up, but there are still, I guess a part of the hair is still not really fully committed to locking yet, right? So because of that, I wanted to kind of take a second just to touch on a few reasons as to like, why would you get a retwist and when would you get a retwist quite simply, right? So let's talk about that. So really quickly, we'll touch on the why. And I'd say the main reason why you would go in to get a retwist or a retightening done is essentially just to maintain the integrity of each parted set. So as you know, as your hair grows, it starts to grow out underneath that lock. So right underneath one of these locks, right? Let's say here, for example, let's say a month and a half passes, new growth or new hair is going to start growing out. So this lock is going to start growing out. Now, when that happens all over your head, because a lot of that new growth isn't in a lock yet, it just kind of becomes like an afro and just kind of starts to like merge into other parted sections and then you actually have to go in sometimes like once a week i'll go in and i'll like pull my parted sections apart because a lot of that new growth starts to go into other locks and forming into other locks so by go doing a retwist or by doing a re-interlock or retightening you know you really get to maintain the integrity of each individual parted section so as you can see all my parted sections now are like super clean, super boxed off, right? So all the new growth that's gonna grow in under these parted sections are gonna grow in very neatly. Nice. And then two months following today, I'll go back in to do another interlock. So mainly, that's the main reason. You wanna maintain the integrity of those parted sections. Another reason, honestly, is just if you are somebody who is going for a more manicured lock look, so, you know, what you would typically see, I guess. I guess the difference is just the manicured lock look where you're taking care of your parted sections, making sure everything's neat and clean. And then there's the freeform style, which is just literally a style that's more natural where you're literally just letting your hair grow and lock however it wants to. So you're not really concerned with parted sections in that type of journey. 
but for most manicured lockers, you know, it's just mainly you want to make you want to make sure that your locks are clean and your parted sections are tidy and neat. So by getting that retightening or that interlock done, it just keeps it clean, right? And if you're somebody who works in a professional setting where you know, you would feel more comfortable with your hair neater or just being out in public, you feel like you're a lot more comfortable with a more neat or more traditional or with a cleaner look, then, you know, it's beneficial for that reason also. I'm actually going to make another video though down the road talking about locks and professionalism because there is that stigma with locks of how locks are deemed to be not professional or they're dirty or whatnot because I don't believe that. I think locks are it's, it's a hairstyle and for a lot of people it, it means more than just the hairstyle right there's a lot of culture and a lot of tradition that goes into it and I'll talk about that in another video but there are a lot of people out there that obviously especially in that starter locking phase when your hair is you know getting locked and understanding that it wants to be locked it is messy and it is looking the way that you might not want it to look as a finished product right now so because of that you might want to like make it look neat and tidy so Getting that retwist or getting an interlock definitely helps that. And the third reason is to kind of just see what's happening with your hair. You know, as your new growth starts to come out, it starts to get a little bit more messy. It's kind of hard to see what's going on sometimes. Like even when you go into the mirror and you're looking in and you're looking at your sections, sometimes it's hard to see like our hair is merging to other parts. You know, is there buildup underneath the new growth that you can't see? It's just a really good opportunity to really go into the hair, tighten everything up, clean everything up, and really see through each part of section. Just, you get to see what's going on up there. So that's probably the next big thing that I think is important and why you'd wanna go in to get a retwist or retightening. And honestly, the last reason, it just, it helps to keep that locking process going, right? As the locking process starts, your hair wants to come apart naturally. But as you go along and as your hair gets to stay together for a longer period of time, it starts to understand what you're trying to do and it starts to try to come together. So in order to do that, you have to keep it together. So as you keep it together in the beginning, after a month, it starts to come apart, come apart, come apart, and then that month passes, you bring it back together. And then to that second month, it starts to come apart, but maybe it doesn't come apart as much this second month, put it back together. Third month, comes apart less, put it back together. And then that locking process really starts where your hair starts to go, oh, okay, you want me to stay together, got it, right? So it just kind of helps that locking process and it helps the hairs to want to stay together. So let's talk timelines. Let's talk about, you know, when should you get a retightening done or when should you get a retwist done? And I'm gonna keep it real simple. Mainly, you want to go as long as you can without having to do those things. So if you can do that with your hair still being intact, with your parted section still being intact, great. But as far as timelines go, you don't want to do anything prior to a month. To me, one month mark is the best time frame to work with, in my opinion, in terms of the shortest amount of time you want to go back in for any kind of retwist or retightening. So once that month mark hits, you can go back in to get that work done. So I would say for a retwist, every month is good, right? Where you're just going back and comb coiling that hair, coiling that hair back into its parted sections with the new growth. But as far as an interlock, because an interlock is a little bit more damaging to your root, or I should just say you're pulling on your root more, give it a little bit more time. So in my opinion, with a retightening or re-interlock, I would wait six weeks minimum to two months, or longer than two months, obviously. And if you're just going back in for a coil, or just to get a recoil or a retwist, then I would say a month or longer, right? So, and then again, the main reason is with that retwist, it's not as damaging to those roots, right? You're twisting the roots, but you're not really pulling on them too tightly, but with that interlock, you are pulling on those roots a little bit more. So you just wanna give your hair a little bit more time. And the main reason for these timelines is to give your scalp and your hair time to grow, give your scalp a bit of a break from all that tightening and pulling and coiling that you're doing to it. Um, and just to allow the process to kind of take ownership of itself and to start to lock up, right? So pretty much that's it. Those are my thoughts in terms of when to get your locks retightened or retwisted and why you would do it. If you have any questions or comments for me, please leave a comment down below. Feel free to subscribe, like, and share this video if you found it helpful or insightful. So stay locked, a lot more content for you guys coming out next week and enjoy the summer out there. I'm actually gonna go out with the family right now. We're gonna go for a walk. We're gonna go buy some food and uh, yeah, make tonight happen. So stay locked. Peace and love y'all, Kojo Locks, signing out.